Dear students, in this video, we will discuss how to realize a ticket counter on this delta sim. In order to realize this ticket counter on the delta sim, what we required is a 7490 IC, 7447 and a 7 segment display. As on this delta sim, we don't have these two uh, facilities. So, we are not able to complete this experiment as per the given problem. So, what we can do is we can just try out the 7490 IC in order to count a different count sequence based on the inputs of the examiners. So, as of now, firstly, we'll discuss the decade counter. So, it can count from 0 to 9 and based on the different uh, mods, we can just do modifications on that IC. So, we can able to do it with a different count. But the thing is, we can't display it on the 7 segment display. What we can do is, we can just display it on this uh, LEDs, this binary outputs. Or we can call it as in BCD outputs. So, this BCD outputs, we need to connect it to this BCD to 7 segment decoder. This 7 segment decoder will drive the content of this BCD, whatever will be generated by the 7490 onto the 7 segment. So, as of now, we don't have these facilities. So, we'll just demonstrate only with this 7490. So, once you draw the circuit, look into the pin diagrams. It will be available for you. Write down all the pin numbers and the relevant output names. So, then you can start doing the connections. So, now we'll just start with this 7490. Just go to this add IC. Click on this. So, add the 7490 the decade counter IC then we can start the connections so we can just look into the circuit by the side in order to start with the connections so first you start with the basic connections so 5 to VCC 10 to ground so just connect 5 to VCC and 10 so it is a 16 pin so this 14 pin IC it is pin number 7 this will be 8 9 10, 10 to ground. So just connect 10 to ground. It's not been done. 8, 9, 10, yes. Next. So after doing this VCC and ground, the next content is connect these reset pins to ground these set pins also to ground initially we are doing it for a decade counter and provide these clocks okay the clocks are available over here so one of the clock directly will be provided and another clock has been provided as in feedback from the output of the first stage so clock zero to pin number 14 i'll connect it from this so clock zero for pin number 14 connect it from this uh, then this has been done so this can also be done now so pin number 12 to clock 1 pin number 12 so 8 9 10 11 12 pin number 12 to 1 it's been done then pin number 12 is the output that we can do it later we'll just do these connections are done now so, we'll just do these two as well. So, MR1, that is pin number 2 to ground. Pin number 3 to ground. Next. 2, 3 done. 6, 7 also to ground. So, pin number 6 to ground. Pin number 7 to ground. When you are doing this in the real hardware components, you can just short it 2 and 3. Then this connection you can short it with 7 and 8, so 6 and 7. Then all together you can put it into ground. Next, yeah, this complete connections are done. Now you just extract the output. So in order to extract the output, pin number 11 is QD. QD is the most significant bit. So connect it to this leftmost, okay. So, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, pin number 11 to QD. So, 8 is QC, 9 is QB. So, 8, this is 8, QC, 
nine QB then pin number twelve is QE. Okay, we just do that connection eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, 12 has already been connected. So, we are connecting again to QA. So, if you look into this pin diagram of 7490, 13 is NC means not connected. So, we left it open. We have not connected that. So, now the circuit connections is done. We can just switch on the power. We can able to check the output now. So, how we are going to check the output based on the clock input what we are providing here so as soon when we apply the clock it should keep counting from all zeros to 1001 since this is a ticket counter it having 10 discrete states all four zeros to 1001 right so just start with 1 all three zeros and 1 right so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right then next is 9 sorry yeah 9 then 0 so it's keep counting from 0 to 9 and then reset back to 0 this is how we can do it now we need to do the changes the same circuit for the different mod so if it is an mod 8 what is the change it has to count 0 to 7 only right whenever it is 8 it has to reset so this truth table is for mod 8 so 0 to 7 it counts as soon as it becomes 8 it has to reset so there is an error might be in the circuit manual please do follow the right one okay this one is missing here Sorry, you just correct that. If it is mod 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, as soon as it becomes 8, it has to reset. So, when this particular bit was 1, it has to reset. So, what were the changes we do it in the circuit? We connect this QD to both the reset pins. So, these reset pins will be flowing with a value QD. QD is 11. So, we have already written the circuit. We can just look into that and do this connections. So, now just do modifications in this. So, first we need to remove the connections of 2 and 3 and then connect it from 11 to 2 and then 11 to 3. So, remove connection 2, you remove, remove connection 3. 3 we remove then connect it from pin number 11 so 8 9 10 11 11 2 2 then 11 2 3 it's been done switch on then start checking with the output so it's giving 2 so 3 4 5 6 7 0 so it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0. This is how you can do it for mod 8. Once you switch off, only then we can do the circuit connect. Now we will do the changes for mod 9. Mod 9, 1, double zero, 1. So this count to be reset. In order to reset for this count, so this QD and QA is I. You connect this QD to MR2. QA to MR1. So, we'll just do that changes. So, MR2 is a pin number 3. MR1 is pin number 2. First, you remove the connections of that. Remove MR2. A 3 I have removed. 2 also you remove. Yes. Now, what's the connections there? QD. QD is pin number 11. 11 to 3. So, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 to 3. I think it's not done. 11 to... Sorry. 
yes then 12 12 to 2 yes so once you complete this make the power on now it works with mod 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 6 so similarly you can do it for mod 6 if you want to do it for mod 6 2 and 3 connection you remove it and connect it to qb and qc so what is qb here the pin number 8 and 9 so just do the connections from 11 and 12 remove it 8 and 9 you connect it to 2 and 3 for mod 6 similarly for mod 5 this is 12 so qb sorry qc is qc is pin number 8 so you just do that connections so you can able to do it for mod 5 so it's like that you can do it for any given mod so now we'll just look into mod 7 so first remove the first make this power button off remove the connections of 2 and 3 yes right next if it is mod 7 how we are going to do it for mod 7 we need to pro pass the content of qa qb qc to an and gates output of the and gates to be connected for both of this reset pins 2 and 3 so in order to do that we need another ic and these output like pin number 12 pin number 8 and 9 should pass it to the and gate so add an ic go to ic add the ic 7408 then do the basic connections of this pin number 14 to vcc pin number 7 to ground then something happened so yeah even this 6 7 is ground no problem so pin number 7 to ground then now pin number 12 so this is 12 connected to pin number 1 of an and so then 8 and 9 you can connect it any one so 9 12 and 9 have connected so the output of this i'll be connecting as an input for the next so this pin number 8 i'll connect it as an input here so 8 we have connected 9 we have connected and 12 we have connected as an input so a b c so this output pin number 6 is the output should be connected to pin number 2 of 7490 because this is the reset pin and also for pin number 3 it's been done so now switch on the trainer kit check out with the output of mod 7 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 zero so this is how it's working for mod 7 so basically when you are doing with the real hardware components along with this we need to have the 7447 so what the changes for any different mod do changes only with respect to 7490 so the output of this 7490 this 11 8 9 and 12 outputs you can provide these outputs directly on to the 7447 the output of the 7447 you provide it to seven segment these a to g directly like pin number 13 to a 12 to b like that you connect it for the seven segment display and then this basic connections are like vcc you connect it to pin number 16 8 to ground along with that very important thing is these three pins so pin number 3, 4 and 5 you have to connect it to VCC. So what we can do for any of the given mod, we do changes only with respect to the 7490. The content what the 7447 receives, there is no change. So you can retain this circuit as it is, do small modifications within this. Thank you. With the